guys, it's another episode of our Frenchy <laughs> uh, oops, topics here in my YouTube channel. So welcome back. My name is Nika. This is Light with me. I'm just gonna go ahead and sit properly <laughs> so you guys can see us on the frame. If you haven't already, subscribe, like this video, share it, whatever. Today, we have a very concise tips tricks about having your own kennel kung balak nyo magsimulang magkaroon ng kennel maybe you're watching right now kasi uh, gusto mong magkaroon or makarinig ng mga tips para makapagsimula ka na sa kennel mo or you're probably in the middle of your journey having your own kennel breeding you just wanted to have those tips so yeah pag-usapan natin to we only have four do's and don'ts um uh, Na gusto kong ibigay sa inyo. The first do's would be consider having your own kennel. Uh, a kennel is a place where you want to put your your dogs or the animals that you want to take care of. Um, previously, we started with, of course, we didn't start with whatever we have right now. Um, five years ago, our kennel was just in our garage. Yeah, sa gilid, sa kanan, the side ng aming garage, we put all the cages na meron kami. We had about four or five cages made of metal pa, hindi pa sila stainless. So if you could probably see the old videos na in-upload namin. Uh, makikita mo how we set up our kennel. Now, of course, it's very important for you to have that. A space for them to live, especially in adult, because you want them to live comfortably with you. Not only earn money from them, of course, you want to give them all the comforts that they need. Dahil it's very important. It's it's connected to their health. It's connected to happiness nila. Apart from that, meron din kami wealthy area. So at the moment, parang nami space para doon namin ginagawa ng everything that involves breeding so it could start with the procreation tapos nung uh, mga probably about 30 to 30 days to 60 days ang pregnancy nila doon sila nag stay dependent sa kanilang um, situation as pregnant dogs they stay in the welcome area or after giving birth it could be that they had cesarean and etc etc so the welcome area will help us to establish the uh, growth of the new puppies so yeah welcome area namin makikita nyo if you haven't seen already dun sa video na in-upload ni Habi dun sa uh, kennel setup namin I'd link the video right here or right there. Those are the two things na nasasabi ko na we did not regret having in setting up our camp. Number two. Number two sa do would be consider your the rec time. What is rec? R-E-C. Rec is short term for recreation. So recreation time for your French Bulldogs or whatever dog that you have in your kennel. I am very certain na importante ito. Recreation is having or giving them the time to have fun or probably just breathe air outside kung yung kennel setup mo it doesn't have you know too much ventilation etc. So it's very important for them to have rec time. Uh, even yung sa mga one month puppy namin we give them rec time because we wanted to introduce to them uh, what Play time is at you know having relaxation and all that. So, uh, those mga dogs namin sa loob ng bahay where they stay in the welcome area, we, I, as much as possible, we give them at least once a week of rec time uh, before they uh, take a bath or kapag may chance talaga once a week. Lalabas sila doon sa garahe namin. Right now, we don't have anything in our garage. Yung isa ko silang naka-park. So, having said that, meron na silang chance doon sa isang site para doon sila mag magkaroon ng 
rec time or recreation time. What do they do during the rec time? They just basically run or off or on leash. Sometimes they have training with my son, with, with us, with me and my husband. Play with the kid, with uh, Sophia, with Nick Nick. Or they just use that to, you know, play with each other. Sometimes, sabay sabay namin silang papalabasin. We just make sure na yung place na pinaglalaro nila is safe from anything toxic or, you know, anything na pwede nilang mabunggo or what. Number three na do should be set aside budget. Um, budget for what? We have health, we have... Um, sorry, I have my cheat sheet. We have hygiene or comfort, food, papers, bed sessions, and of course, for emergencies. Guys, if you have a kennel, it is your responsibility to save money for them or put aside or set aside money for your kennel. You have, let's say, more than 10 dogs with you. Why? Because there are times na kailangan mo silang ibili ng gamot when they're sick or probably they have allergies or if they basically get upset stomach or whatnot. So yeah, even leisure if you want to go out and um, take your dog with you, you have to also set aside budget for them like buy clothes or preferences that you will have if you are going to take your dogs with you. So, vitamins, we would probably be very specific sa ibang video for that. But, you know, um, you really have to have budgets for those. Na naman. And, yung number four na do natin would be to love them genuinely. Okay? Um, if this is not the kind of hobby, hobby or uh, business na mamahalin mo genuinely that you're just looking to sell them and earn money from them. It's probably not gonna be the kind of business for you because if you don't love them, you're not going to be able to do things like <laughs> yung bibisan yung make sure na malinis sila from their poops, wee wee, for them not to smell, scratches nila, bites, yung kakulitan nila, pagiging annoying nila when you're doing a training. So things like that, yun. So you really have to love what you're doing. Be passionate about it. Okay, now we've already talked about the do's. Let's talk about the do don'ts, right? Medyo makalit na tong kasama natin. Pag-usapan na natin ng don'ts. Number one is, don't think about fast cash. This is going to be a passive income, just so you know. So this is not something that uh, if you're looking for, if you wanted to have a business that you know you want to earn immediately in the span of one week or one month. This is not it because you, this is sometimes they call it waiting game. Because you really need to wait. You need to wait. You need to wait. for wait for the dogs, the new puppies, you have to wait for at least 60 days para sa paglabas ng mga puppies. On top of that, you have to wait for additional, let's say, 3 months bago mo ma-release. Hantay mo pa yung papers nila. Right? No. Sit. Hantay mo pa yung papers nila. Hantay mo pa yung, or tapusin mo pa lahat ng, um, ng sessions nila with the vet. So, it's really something that you have to be patient. Don't be preoccupied if you have this business. So what do I mean by that? If if you have your kennel and you're preoccupied with something like you have your work, you have you're really busy, you need to fly out of the country, fly out of the town, travel. This is probably not something for you. Kasi uh, you have to dedicate time for it. Cleaning palang. I'm seeing my husband and my son clean twice a day, you know, and paligo once a week and all that, you have to really spend time for them. It's not something na pwede mong, pwede mong ipagpalipas because if you do, you don't have the right 
enough time for them baka sila magkasakit or baka you know maraming maraming pwedeng mangyari so you really have to have precious time to spend if you want to number breed. three is don't make um, other breeders mistake specifically when it comes to breeding your your dam so for dams we we had this mistake na yung mother nito yung nung nag hit siya pina pina stud namin without reaching yung proper growth and development ng katawan niya so that was even before mag one year old siya i think it was during the first hit niya so ang nangyari nag hit siya we you know the whole process nanganak siya and all yung katawan niya hindi na bumalik sa dati and of course hindi naging maganda sa health ng dog and all that so it's something you have to consider at least one year yung maturity sa ibang dam namin sa ibang girl dogs namin we have we make it a point na at least two hits nila bago namin ipapastad and pregnant bago sila mag-permit. So, sa mga sire naman, mga lalaking dogs, um, French Bulldogs namin, at least, yun nga, one year old sila bago namin sila mag-decide na maging sire or mag-stud sila. So, yun. The last but not the least, yung pang-apat sa don't is don't experiment or compromise or try, do try and, er try and error for them. Although, marami na nga kaming mga mistakes na nagawa in the past sa aming pag-breed is we found out na it's really best to talk to expert or reach out to experts when it comes to your dog's health, especially kapag halimbawa yung mga kapatid nito na experience namin they had we thought it was distemper uh, we thought it was something na magkakos ng lives nila but then we consulted our vet Dr. Che shout out um, she was able to help us with yun nga pag recover eh, pag determine ng ano ba talaga ang nangyari and all and so, ito, ito na sila malalaki na sila ngayon matataba and super healthy so we just wanted to let you know nga na it's best if you can consult experts syempre yung mga vets natin and or if you know someone na naranasan na nila yun and it's similar you know experience it's also best na maniwala tayo okay so yun lang naman ang ating pag-uusapan today uh, if there are other things that may come up related to the things I talk about the do's and don'ts huwag mahiya i-chat nyo ako sa Facebook we have our own page Luckvin Bull House or if you wanna message me on my own account, it's Nika Rendon Cruz on Facebook. Or you can send me an email. I've got my email listed on the description. And I'll be happy to answer anything. Okay. So, thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, light. Say bye-bye, light. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye, light. Say bye, -bye. bye.